Hey guys, this is WHP and today we're going to talk about if CPU overclocking is really worth it. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, we're going to start off by taking a look at some cons with overclocking your CPU and then we're going to move on to some pros. And of course there's many pros with overclocking your CPU. So let's find out if it's worth it. Okay, let's start with the cons. If you if you want to overclock your CPU, you will often have to increase the voltage of your CPU. And voltage translates to more heat, and the more heat will increase the temperature of your CPU. So you will need a good cooler to dissipate the heat uh, in a good way. So keep in mind that keep that in mind when you're overclocking your CPU that the temperature will often increase by a lot. So the more you increase the voltage, the higher the temperature will be. And often, you, for higher clocks, you will often need higher voltage. If you are aiming for a very high overclock, I will often recommend a water cooler, but a good air cooler like Noctua NH15 is uh, most likely sufficient for a pretty high overclock, like 4.4 GHz and in some cases even higher. So. A water cooler or a good air cooler will be sufficient. And there is also something called electron migration. And uh, in short terms that means if after a while you will need to increase the voltage for the same overclock as you had before. So just keep that in mind when you're overclocking. This is uh, not usual but sometimes it will happen. It happened to me. Also keep in mind that uh, increased heat will often translate to shorter lifespan of your CPU. So if you're planning to keep your CPU for a couple of years, I recommend that you stay on a lower voltage and not aim for the highest voltage and highest overclock you can get. But if you're planning on upgrading your CPU in like one, two years, then you can aim for a higher voltage and higher overclock. And also remember that uh, uh, Every CPU have a specific safe voltage and the upper limit you should uh, go if you're aiming for a safe and stable overclock and always uh, Google and search for tutorials on your specific CPU model for the safest uh, uh, overclock possible and safe voltage possible. Okay, now we're gonna move on to some uh, pros and the pros are that you will obviously get a lot better performance and a, and in many cases, and the th theoretical performance increase uh, will, if you overclock your CPU by 10%, the performance will often increase by 10%. This is not always the case in reality, but on paper, that is true. Okay guys, now we're gonna take a look at some uh, performance numbers and some synthetic benchmarks and the games. And uh, you can see for yourself how much of an increase in performance you will get when you overclock your CPU. Okay guys, now you have seen some performance numbers and some synthetic benchmark and some games. Uh, and the final verdict is that overclocking your CPU can really help uh, increase the performance by a huge margin, in some cases up to 30%. So if you have the sufficient cooler, I really recommend that you overclock your CPU and aim for the highest while keeping the temperature in check. So. Hope you guys found this uh, short uh, discussion helpful and uh, I see you in the next one.